Hello everyone. Welcome to video number three in the series where we are showing you how to use PDF Linker to ease your planner creation from digital planners, printables, journals, and any other book that you want to sell online. PDF Linker is a software that will create the dates and hyperlinks that will then go in your digital planner or printable planner. In this video, we'll show you how to add the hyperlinks to the weekly pages in the planner. If you haven't done so yet, go watch video number one and video number two, because in those videos, we show you how to actually date the planner. The planner is already dated, and now we're going to add hyperlinks so it can be used as a digital planner. We'll show you how to use PDF Linker to create a CSV with all of the hyperlinks that then in one click you can put in your PDF. No copy paste, no manual entries, and nothing like that. Literally, the software will do it for you. If you don't know what PDF Linker is, click on the description below where you will find a link to go learn more about it. You will also find Camilla's YouTube channel. She has a lot of videos walking you from beginning to end on how to create a planner using the software. This series is just a few videos where we will walk you through the basics that you need to get started and learn more also about the software. If you're only interested in creating printable planners, this probably won't be the video for you because this is how to hyperlink. So you know you can click on the digital planner on an app like GoodNotes, NoteShelf, and other apps like that. If you're interested in that, let's go to the tutorial. Now we have our planner all merged together. So we need to delete all of these. and you just simply hit remove PDF. Now be careful because if you're actually working on linking something, the remove all links is right underneath there. So just be careful. So now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, create a CSV to have PDF linker link up all of our um, months, all of that January, February across the top Remember, we have all of these across the top. We're going to have Jan we're going to have Linker create our CSV to to link all of those. So, I'm just going to select Create Document CSV because this is going to create your CSV in the right format for Linker to use to add all of your links. It just makes it easier and you don't have to mess with Excel and all of that stuff. So um, my links are just obviously the m days of the month. And I know that my first page is the cover, so my calendar page for January starts on page two. And it's as easy as that. I'm going to save it as CSV. And then I'm just going to name it so I know what it is. I'm going to name it tabs because then I know what it is. So we'll close that. And here is where you can, there's lots of different places that you do linking in PDF Linker. I like to keep it simple and I do my tabs in the main, um, the main window just because I don't really need all of this batch linking stuff for just adding the tabs because I'm just going to select one CSV I'm not going to put a start page or end page because I want it to be added to every page so I'm just going to add the PDF and that is our merged PDF and I am going to load it in the viewer and I'm just going to with my mouse select this area right here and that tells PDF linker to only look in that area to add the links so I'm just gonna say use selected area I'm gonna select the page link CSV 
that is our tabs CSV that we just created. And then I'm just going to say process page links. And it's going to think about it for a couple seconds. And then it will pop up that it's done. And on this main uh, page, you'll see an output in this text box. I, I have that there so you can see that everything is linking. So this is telling you that on page one, PDF linker saw January, February, March, all of this text on page one and added the link to it. So if one of your months is missing in there, you might have a spacing issue. So that's something that we can talk about later, but uh, we don't need to do all that. But I like to use this main pane um, to test to make sure that Linker is picking up everything that I need it to do, even if I'm going to do a bunch of batch processing. But let's go back to our um, folder and Linker created a new PDF for us called Merge Updated. So whatever the name of your PDF is, it's going to add updated to the end of it so you can differentiate between the different ones. So now all of our months are linked to the correct. And that's for the entire planner. I can come down here to the last day of and it's all 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 added to all 438 pages. So that's done. Now I am going to rename this as just one because in the next um, section here you'll see why because it's going to create uh, 12 <laughs> of these updated files and I don't want um, merged, updated, updated, 1, 2, 3, 4, 12. So, um, so now we're going to do a batch processing. So we are going to add the weekly links because if you remember in our weeklies we have all those weeklies in our monthly calendar pages okay we have the links to the weeks of the month down here so those are going to link to the correct weekly pages so I'm going to do that as a batch so I don't have to do it one by one. So you just hit batch processing right here and we are going to add our PDF. Remember I renamed it one to keep it simple and I know that the start page for January is two. So start page and end page that's the uh, page that you want to add the links for a specific CSV for and we want to add specific CSV for January. But I forgot I haven't created them yet. I have to go down to my little linker, baby linker. This is where he comes into play. So I need to create my CSVs that linker is going to use so it knows what page to link this text to. So we're going to put the same dates in that we did to create our CSVs to do our bulk upload on Canva. And the start page for my weeklies, I know, is going to be 14 because my January calendar starts on page 2 and there are 12 months in the year. And then I have a cover page. So my uh, calendar pages end on page 13. So my, um, my weekly pages are going to start on page 14. So I'm going to input that start page here. That's where I want PDF Linker to start creating the CSVs to be able to link it correctly. And then I'm going to tell it I want weekly uh, CSVs and say create CSV. And then it's going to ask me where I want to save it. And I have a handy dandy file here that says linking weekly. And I'm going to save it there. Now it just created a, a uh, CSV for each month with the correct uh, links to the page depending on where your start page, where your weekly pages start. Your weekly pages could start on page 47 if you have a bunch of stuff before that. But this only works if you're creating your pages all in a row. 
okay so you can't I mean you can do this it'd just be more time labor intensive if you're creating your planner with January and then the weekly Januaries and then the daily Januaries and then do February calendar you'll have to do a whole lot of other uh, creating of CSV files so okay so that's finished let's go ahead and add those links now so we're just going to put in our calendar pages. Each line is another page in our PDF of our calendar pages. And I'm going to do 13 again and I'll show you why. So I'm going to select the page link CSV and this is going to be January And this is going to be February. There we go. March. See how it created those, and it even knows when your um, when your weeks span two months. Like for example, January ends like on a Wednesday, and then it goes into February for the rest of that week five of January. So week five of January shares week one of February when the dates are the date ranges so PDF linker knows that and uh, adjusts for that where we at July November December now I want this to link to that January 2025. So now I'm just going to select, highlight my PDF up here in the little box. I'm going to view the PDF because I have to select the area that I want PDF Linker to look for those links. And this is going to add the links to these weekly numbers down here. So I'm going to use the selected area and then I'm just going to say process batch and it's finished. So come up here to and see now we have updated one, two, three, four <laughs> for all of those. So if I open the, uh, the biggest number one, then that has all of the links. So if I go to down here, see my links are now correctly added for all of my weeks and it's correct. So in the next video we will create our daily CSVs and we'll link up all of our daily, do our all of our daily links and then your planner's done. Thank you for staying until the end of the video. PDF Linker is truly a unique software that will change the games in printable creation, in digital planner creation, and I believe that everyone who creates digital products, especially dated and hyperlinked digital products, can truly benefit from this software. Check the description below for a link to learn more about it. PDF Linker can be used with any other software that you are already using in your business to design your planners, whether it's Canva, Affinity, PowerPoint, Keynote, it doesn't matter. They work all in conjunction. It can be for Apple users and also for Windows users. Yep, it pretty much does it all. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. I am happy to answer your questions. Check out all the links. Check out Camila's channel for even more tutorials. And if you want to see more on how to use PDF Linker, leave me some suggestions below because we are happy to make your life with that software a lot easier. See you on the next one.